So you've gone ahead and found yourself in a situation where you need to architect or manage a data project. You need an adaptable solution, but you also need it quickly. So you've come to the inevitable decision point. Do you build your data platform from the ground up, or do you buy third-party data solutions to handle parts of the platform for you? Okay, so you've already been poking around the internet, and you see a lot of people convincing you to build your analytics platform yourself. That's what true engineers do, right? The biggest advantage of building is easy. You get to decide exactly what you need, and you get to make the platform do exactly that. You can eliminate features that you don't need and deliver something optimized for your business. But this comes at a cost. For starters, time. It just takes time to make a good solution. Figuring out requirements, building it, testing it, testing it more, new requirements, rebuilding, and so on. A lot of times there's a lot of pressure on delivering data solutions quickly to prove value in analytics. Talent is another cost. You're going to need skilled developers and engineers to build out the solution. Is there bandwidth? Are there competing priorities that will constantly derail the project? Can you get new positions to build out a dedicated team? Sometimes people underestimate the talent needed in a variety of different roles to build out a full solution. And then of course there's budget. Software is always hard to budget for. It seems easy until it starts to be built. Scope creep and unexpected obstacles, new requirements come along. All of this leads to blowing up the budget and causing massive headaches. In the long run, building will likely be more cost effective, but those costs can often be hidden, servers headcount over time, and because they're harder to account for, they may be more scrutinized. But even if you figure out that you can build it, should you build it? There are advantages to buying ready-made solutions. A lot of times people think they have some crazy, unique problem, but in reality, they have the same issues everyone else has. And lo and behold, somebody's already made software to solve for that. You could implement that software and then free up the team to focus on providing direct value. The first buy consideration that will come up is cost. The upfront expense is much more in your face than the overtime cost of building. And sticker shock can deter the whole project. You also have to consider subscriptions and other costs that will continue for the full life of the solution. You also have to evaluate the features and functions of the various tools in the market, figure out exactly what your pain points are, and which tool most closely solves those, while also avoiding additional features that add to the cost but don't provide any benefit to you. And then there's support. You'll be reliant on third party for uptime, bugs, scaling, and other issues that are inevitable in software. Having good, reliable support that communicates well will be essential. When your customers are angry at you, blaming the third party won't really appease them. So how do you decide? First, you need to figure out what you really need. What are your exact problems you're solving for? And do products exist that cover them? How much customization do you need and what can you get away with not having? You should only be building if there's nothing on the market that will solve your problem already. Then you need to calculate the total costs. People are good at evaluating vendor costs, but they don't consider the cost to build because it's a lot harder to do upfront. You don't want to spend hundreds of hours building a tool that doesn't save much money, when that time could have been spent providing value to the core business. Of course, the reality is you'll probably have a mix. Even if you're strongly in favor of building, most teams will supplement with things like Tableau and Power BI. I don't know too many who build their own visualization tools. If you look at the whole analytics platform from ETL to data lake to data warehouse to analytics to visualization, there's probably going to be some tools, such as things provided by your cloud platform, visualization tools, data cataloging tools, and whatever else you find. So you want to go through each step of the platform and evaluate build versus buy. And then you'll likely end up with a mix, which is ideal. Save time where you can and focus your effort on what truly brings value to the business, users, and customers. If you're dead set on building out your analytics platform yourself, then you want to get really good requirements to evaluate what you really need. And so you want to watch this video next to make sure you're getting the best requirements possible.